What's up guys, it's Ike from internetmarketinggym.com. Today I'm going to show you how to find the keyword to create content around. Okay, let's go uh, find a good keyword for my baby shower site. So again, I'm going to build content around this keyword. Uh, an article, of course, uh, a video, and an image. I'll create all of this around the, the keyword that I think I can rank for. So first thing you want to do is go to Google Keyword Tool. And uh, where are we? Get in there. That's right. Sign in. Sign in. And once you sign in, going to want to find some keywords. I already have an idea of the keyword I want to look for. So I'm going to make sure you're targeting the correct country and language. So I'm going to go for a diaper cake. I'm going to go for a bear, teddy bear diaper cake. Let's see what, what we get out of that. I'm going to click on keywords idea, keyword ideas here. As you can see, it gets only 90 searches a month, which is fine with me. I just uh, I want to get that at low hanging fruit. But we're not done. We have our root keyword. We want to find out if there's a lot of competition for it. So you want to right click that, search in Google, like such, and uh, you see it says uh, 327,000. But if you put you put um, quotes around that and click search again this number significantly drops to 12,700 which is very doable and I scroll down here and I can see that it only gets about uh, only about 10 pages come up for this keyword teddy bear diaper cake but I also want to find other uh, keywords that are related to teddy bear diaper cake so I'm gonna take the quotes off. By the way, with the quotes, I know that I don't have very much competition, so that settles that. I just have enough uh, searches a month to go after, which is 90, which is like the bare minimum for me. And uh, with quotes, I find out there's only 12,700 com uh, uh, people competing for this keyword, which, you know, I like to hover around 10,000, 20,000. So this number is uh, perfectly fine with me. The lower the better, of course. Let's take the quotes off and see what this sucker yields uh, in terms of other keywords. You scroll down here, check this out. There's a bunch of other keywords. I want the ones that are related to Teddy Bear Diaper Cake. So obviously, Teddy Bear Diaper Cake Instructions is definitely another one. Copy that. Let's put that in a notebook. So we have a root word, which is teddy bear diaper cake, plus I want teddy bear diaper cake instructions. I'm going to probably make this into a header, maybe an H2, uh, an H2 header. You know, when you're writing a post, you have your header 1s, your header 2s, and your header 3s. So teddy bear diaper cake is going to be my header 1, teddy bear diaper cake instructions is going to be my header 2. Uh, just follow the series and you'll understand what everything means. I will explain everything in detail. So no worries there, yeah? So I'm just going to write that down here, header 2. I also want a header 3. Uh, you know, I want uh, another keyword that has some bearing to uh, Teddy Bear Diaper Cake. So... What will I choose? Well, let's, let's look down here. Another way to look for um, keywords that are related is to just backspace and see what, what comes up. Teddy bear nappy cakes, teddy bear motorcycle, diaper cake, make teddy bear diaper cake, teddy bear shaped diaper cake, DIY. I like that DIY teddy. Yeah, I'm going to use this as my conclusion, H3 tag. Yeah, this is good, DIY. Copy that and put that in here. Okay. 
So we got that covered. And in the next video, I'm going to create content for you. I'm going to show you how to create an image and all that good stuff, article and video. Are you listening? Damn.